In this discussion, we will discuss the discussion question of Explain how the cash flows from investing and financing activities are formatted. If we see a discussion question like this, we can see first that this is probably relating to a statement of cash flows. Support accounting instruction by clicking the link below giving you a free month membership to all of the content on our website broken out by category, further broken out by course. Each course then organized in a logical, reasonable fashion, making it much more easy to find what you need than can be done on a YouTube page. We also include added resources such as Excel practice problems, PDF files, and more like QuickBooks backup files when applicable. So once again, click the link below for a free month membership to our website and all the content on it. And if we don't know exactly where to start in terms of investing activities or financing activities, we can start with just the overall, what is the statement of cash flows? Uh, what are the three categories of the statement of cash flows? And then get into more detail in terms of those categories and probably pick up some points. So the statement of cash flows is going to be one of the major financial statements. We have the balance sheet, income statement, statement of cash flows, and the statement of equity. And uh, the statement of cash flows will be reporting the change in cash. It's an activities statement that we have. Three major components to the statement of cash flows, investing, financing, and um, operating or operating, investing, and financing. Those are going to be the three major components. Now, clearly here we are focusing in on the investing and financing, probably the two that we have the least familiarity with because we probably focus most of our time on operating because that's where most of the activity happens is in the operating activities. So we could kind of compare and contrast. We can say, what is the operating possibly and compare and contrast that to the investing and, and financing and possibly pick up points that way. So we could say, you know, the operating activities is similar to the income statement. We're looking for cash flows from operations. Most of the activity will be, you know, in the operating activities because that's similar to the income statement. That's where it's, that's the statement that's telling us what is going on typically. But there's going to be a few activities that are not included in uh, operated activities that are dealing with cash flows. So, and those of course will be in the financing and investing activities. So what is it then that's going to go into investing and financing? What types of cash flows are happening that aren't part of normal operations? Well, if we go to the investing activities, we're going to, we're going to build that. We're going to format that by saying, you know, what's going to be included in the investing activities. Now, if we purchase investments or sell investments, obviously that would be included. So if we're buying stocks and bonds from other companies, that would be included. If we're selling stocks and bonds, that would be included. If we're talking about other types of investments, however, we have to think of it in a more of a broader context. And that means if we're buying like a, a long-term investment, then that will be included in terms of any type of assets that's a long-term investment, like property, plant, and equipment. So if property, plant, and equipment is being purchased, that's a type of investment. And I would think about that with a journal entry. Anytime I look at any type of account, try to think about, well, what's the journal entry related to cash? Is there, you know, is there anything involved on the income statement related to this account? Or is the, does this account deal with the income statement much at all? So if I purchased equipment, for example, we would debit uh, equipment and credit cash. Neither of those accounts are income statement accounts. And therefore it's not an operating activity typically. And then I would ask myself, well, what did, did we purchase anything? You know, did we purchase an asset? In this case, yeah, we purchased equipment and therefore it's an investment as opposed to financing, which would be dealing with not purchasing assets, but just trying to get money or pay back money to finance the company. So that means that the investing activity is going to be built up from uh, the investment sales and purchases, but also from the purchase and sale of assets like property, plants, and equipment. So if we buy property, plants, and equipment, that's going to be a cash outflow in terms of investing. If we sell property, plants, and equipment, that's going to be a cash inflow for the investing. Financing activities are going to be, again, not have a whole lot of activity involved in them. Could be a large in dollar amount, but most of the activity, again, will be in the operating activities. So what's going to be included in financing? Only the things that are helping us to finance the business in terms of getting capital, uh, getting money into the business or paying back 
that that type of capital we got. So uh, not through normal operations, because that would be in the operating activities, but through other means. What would those other means be? Loans. Like if we take a loan, if we have bonds payable, or if we're going to get investments just from the owner, those would be ways to finance the company, to get capital, to get money into the company uh, uh, so that we can you know, fund our, our businesses and our operations. So uh, a loan, if we took out a loan, uh, then we would increase the financing activity. Same time a thought process. You'd think, well, what's the journal entry to, to take out a loan? We would debit cash and credit um, the loan payable. And there's nothing that deals with the income statement there. And uh, so therefore, it's, it's not really uh, an operating activity. Also, did we buy anything? Are we investing in anything? No, we didn't buy anything. We just got money. We're, we're trying to just get capital. That's why it's going to be an, an investing activity. And then if we had a bond, it would be similar. If the owner puts money into the company, either by us issuing stock, if it's a company, a corporation, or by an owner of a, of a partnership or a sole proprietor putting money into the company. Again, that's a form of financing. It's financing from the owners. And so that would be an increase in the financing activity. If we paid back a loan, then we're paying back for financing. We're paying back a financing activity. That would be a cash outflow related to financing. If we pay back the owner in the form of a dividend for a corporation or in the form of draws for a partnership or sole proprietor, then that would be a form of financing. We're paying back the owner uh, part of the investment that they've put into the into the company.